Thank you very much for this opportunity to say a few words about my folks tonight. On behalf of my brother Patrick and my sisters Chris and Karen, and our sister in law Anita, we are very pleased to know that in spite of all that occurred during our elementary education at St. Joseph's, you would nonetheless honor our mom and dad. <laughs> Prayer and perseverance got the four of us and them through many years on the center street. My family joined St. Joseph's. I don't know, I think there's a debate about when that was, but my recollections are the very, very early 60s. The parking lot that's across the street from church was an annex where some of the classes were taught. The beautiful church that stands on the corner was not even built. And the school was only a portion of the building that stands today. We ate lunch next to the boiler room, and our mothers monitored the lunch room. We bought pagan babies by the bus room, <laughs> and we really did memorize the Baltimore Catechism. It was not uncommon to be in a class with 50 or 60 children and the movie ratings were always posted at the back of the church in a great source of argument when the rating wasn't the right one. <clears throat> Our pastor, Father McDermott, was surely the only priest, probably the only man in Bradley, who sported a black beret. His chapeau, as he called it, covered a brilliant mind that quoted the classics, and he never forgot a name. <laughs> Sister Loretta was the principal, and I must say she did a stellar job of preparing us as adults to explain Catholic guilt to our non-Catholic <laughs> friends. <laughs> the church and the school were not just the center of our childhood universe. For our parents, St. Joseph's was and is their true north. They struggled as young parents to put us all through St. Joe's, but did so because they believed in their hearts that that was the right thing to do. Any sacrifices they made, and they surely made many, were made with care and commitment, and never a mention of what they did without to make those tuition payments. We came of age during a tumultuous time in our history. Many St. Joseph alumni of my vintage can remember, as though it was yesterday, the assassination of President Kennedy. Our teachers took us to church, where we waited for our parents to come and get us. The Vietnam War, student protests, new morality or lack thereof, were all part of the social backdrop that my parents' generation faced while trying to raise Christian children. St. Joseph's was, in today's vernacular, their support system. And from our mom and dad, and reinforced by our teachers and parish priests, we learned lessons that have guided us throughout our lives. We learned to trust in God, to care for those who are not as fortunate as we are, to respect ourselves, to share the blessings we have, and to remember that people, family and friends, as well as strangers, will always be more important than things. We learned these life lessons because, as my son would say, Paul and Norma didn't, didn't just talk the talk, they walked the walk. And any good that your kids have done, Mom and Dad, they've done because of your example. More than half a century ago, Sir Winston Churchill observed, we make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. St. Joseph's Parish is the foundation of the life that our parents have built. Thank you for recognizing their sincere devotion and quiet generosity to the church and the school.